How's it going guys, it's Josh here, welcome back to another video. Now if you happen to have a sofa that's in the same room as your PC, you've no doubt had occasions where you want to do some surfing the web, a bit of online shopping while in the comfort of your sofa. Now for a while I did use a wireless mouse and keyboard for this, it kind of works but it's not ideal. So a company called Re hooked me up with this awesome little keyboard. It's super portable, it's got everything you could want, multimedia controls, a trackpad, it's wireless. It basically offers all the features of a mouse and keyboard, but in one small little package. Great for if you're traveling or on the other side of the room, for instance. Now talking of small, this thing is really tiny. It's 25 centimeters long, nine centimeters deep, and 15 millimeters thick, and weighs only 300 grams. Obviously we have the lithium ion battery on the rear of the keyboard, but this doubles up as a bit of a stand to angle the keyboard, and it also quite conveniently houses the USB nano receiver, we'll come to that later. So like I said, it's very thin, very light, the chassis is stainless steel though, so it's not going to bend or snap if you put it in a backpack for instance. The keys are nearly completely flat, now these are not necessarily most comfortable to type on, the keys are also very small, you definitely can't type on this as fast as on a normal size keyboard, it's just not designed for that. I'd perhaps be a little bit careful about the keys on the edges too, I feel like they could get ripped off or damaged if they got caught on something. I know they do sit really flat but it's still a possibility so just bear that in mind. So on the outside it's already a nice little keyboard, but has it got enough features to warrant you buying it? Well, it's wireless and it comes with this nano USB receiver. You simply plug it in and it just works. It runs on the 2.4 GHz frequency. The range is stated to be 10 meters. I generally use it at a distance of about 3 meters and it's been absolutely fine. I've not experienced any dropouts or lag. Now, you can use this keyboard with your PC, but it is also compatible with most smart TVs, which is particularly handy. Now some TVs don't support external input devices, the best way to check is by plugging in a wired keyboard to see if it works. If it does, chances are this keyboard will also work. I will just mention though, the range definitely isn't as good when using it with a TV as it is with a PC, so you might want to plug the nano USB receiver into the included extension cable if you are experiencing dropouts. Now moving on to the battery life, it's actually pretty impressive, it comes with this dual purpose micro USB slash extension cable to charge it, I gave it a full charge when I got it and I've not had to recharge it as of yet, that's with over a month of daily use. It does have an auto sleep function, you can set it to be either 3 minutes or 2 hours with FN and the escape key. As I mentioned earlier it does have multimedia keys. Now what I love here is that you don't need to hold any function key for them to work, it's actually the F1 to F12 buttons that you need to hold the FN key for. Now this is a pretty good idea, I definitely use the multimedia keys more often than I do the function keys. The FN key sits next to the left shift key, you'll need to hold this to activate any of the keys with blue on them. Moving on to the trackpad, I think it recently got a refresh from the manufacturers, it's actually very good for such a cheap keyboard. It's a one finger tap for a left click, a double finger tap for a right click, and if you hold two fingers down and move them, it'll scroll. There's also mouse click buttons down on the bottom left if you prefer to use those. It tracks well, it's responsive, and there is even an option to adjust the DPI with FN and the space key. Or if you really don't want to use the trackpad at all, you can disable it altogether. So there it is, an extremely compact wireless keyboard that's feature packed and will work with a range of devices. It's definitely not the most comfortable thing to type on, but it's great as a travel keyboard or just to occasionally use when you sit on the sofa, and coming in at under £20, it is a very fair price indeed. There is also a Bluetooth version available if that's something that interests you. I'll drop some Amazon links in the description for both if you want to check them out. Thanks for watching today guys, and I'll catch you all in the next one.